Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet with Sonnet's Garden Blooms. I wanna thank you all for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you an update on what I've accomplished so far. Uh, I wanted to do a thrift flip for you, um, but have you ever felt like you are so exhausted that you have no creative juices left in your body. Well, that is how I felt yesterday. And I woke up today knowing today was going to be my last day to work on barn quilts. I wanted to paint as many as I possibly could today. And last night after finishing up on all these trees, I'm gonna definitely show you all everything. I, I was, at a loss. I honestly did not feel like I, I sat there and I actually probably spent more time contemplating what I could flip. Um, I didn't want to start any more projects. I'm at the point where I just need to wrap up the things that I have to complete. And um, I'm just going to wrap up uh, what I, I can at this point and the rest is gonna go in my booth um, afterwards because I have uh, quite a few items started or things that I wanna flip that will be in future videos for you guys. So what I have accomplished so far is I have um, painted um, 52 22 inch barn quilts. I have those done. I went and I pulled out my extra holiday quilts that I had from last year. And I have about 12 of those. So all of those will be coming to Cranberry Fest with me. I have currently painted six 33 inch barn quilts. I need to paint four more of those. So that is what is gonna be done next. I painted two of the 42 inch rounds and I'll definitely show you guys those. They are beautiful. They went, I actually, I probably should be painting more of those because last year those sold within the first hour of Cranberry Fest being open. Um, I have 40 barn quilt stars matching um, the 40, just 40 colorful ones. I still need to do another 30 like holiday-ish ones. Those went over really well last year as, as well. So that I wanna finish up today. Um, I have a hundred of the trees done and I have the home signs, the other signs that you've seen in my videos. So I have been working like crazy on all of that. I just need to, today, like I said, I painted all of these behind me. Um, I just need to do my last technique to them and then they will be ready to go. Uh, tomorrow I am working. I have Wednesday off. I'm going to be go on Wednesday just gathering everything. I'm going to start videotaping for you guys Wednesday and then Thursday. So I'm going to show you basically how I put everything into piles and like what I'm bringing. Um, I have a larger U-Haul this year. I have a six by 12. So I'm hoping it's gonna hold all of these. I, um, I have a backup plan. I'm going to possibly pack so many into the U-Haul and my truck, and then the rest will be going into my vehicle, which will probably go up with my husband. Uh, and that will be at our cabin. That way I can bring those like Saturday morning if need be. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you now, um, clips of what I have done.
I hope you enjoyed that little peek um, at what I have been working on. I, like I said, this is kind of like an impromptu video. I really had intended on giving you guys a thrift flip because there were more items that I really did want to bring to Cranberry Fest. Uh, but like I said, you know, things happen and unfortunately, um, some things had to get slashed off the list. So, uh, things I have to do yet, I still have to put the base on all of those trees and that will be a tomorrow project. Uh, today I need to assemble the rest of those stars and um, get everything priced. So like I said, moving forward, I am going to um, do almost like a vlog type of a couple videos uh, for Friday and then Monday. So Friday, it's going to be how I pack everything up and, and you'll actually see like everything I am loading and bringing along. And then, um, Saturday and Sunday, I am going to be very diligent about taping everything at the show and showing you guys everything for that following Monday. So it's going to be like two days worth of just like basically everything that goes into getting ready for uh, setup and all that good stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely stay tuned for the next couple of videos. Um, I just, I have a lot going on and I have so many thoughts in my head. <laughs> you have uh, no idea. Uh, I'm swimming, I'm swimming. So I have to tell you guys a funny story. Okay, it may not be that funny actually because I feel terrible, but uh, I did receive a phone call on Saturday and it was a sweet couple. Um, so Rhonda, if you are watching, hello, uh, she called, she was actually at Cranberry Fest looking for me. So there is actually two Cranberry Fest. There's one in Warrens, Wisconsin, which was last weekend or this last weekend. And then there's one in Eagle River, which is this coming weekend. And maybe there's more, I don't even know, but um, unfortunately there was a little confusion and she thought I was actually at Warren's Cranberry Fest. So she called, I answered, we had a great conversation. I felt terrible because she wanted to find my booth <laughs> and I wasn't there. Um, so a short time later, I'm, you know, painting, or I'm like actually putting all these quilt or, uh, trees together and I get a, a message from Warren's Cranberry Fest and they said, excuse me, um, where, it, where are you located here? Because we have quite a few people coming up looking for you. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I thought I was pretty clear by giving the dates, October, you know, first and second, and that I was in Eagle River. So if you went to Warren's Cranberry Fest to look for me, I apologize. I was definitely not there, unfortunately, but I will be in Eagle River next weekend. So I just had to tell you guys that funny little story. Um, okay, it wasn't funny. It was terrible. I feel horrible. So I'm feeling really good about where I'm at with product. Um, the show itself uh, last year was $250 a space and I had not realized because I paid for it right away but the price went up to $300 a space so what I have invested in this um, is $625 so I paid $600 for two booth space spaces and then I paid um, my mom and I each split um, it's $50 to set up early and the reason we chose to do that is last year when we pulled in with the U-Haul it um, it was getting tight okay uh, it's like tent city so you have to maneuver your big U-Haul and truck amongst all these tents and so we just felt like $25 each it was worth it so I will be setting up early for that um, Friday morning, but um, I am feeling good with the amount of product that I am bringing. So the amount of product that I have made and flipped, um, I definitely, my goal was to um, exceed my sales from last year. 
uh, but it always is to at least make 10 times my booth fee. If I can do that at a show, I always feel like I've accomplished um, a good feat, but last year I did way, way over that. So that is like, was my goal this year to do even better this year. So I uh, hope that you guys join me for the next couple videos and um, it will be fun. And I can't wait to bring you guys along and show you what the show is all about. I'm gonna also try to videotape some of the other booths to show you who's there, um, all that good stuff. So um, thank you so much for following along. And next week I am gonna be back to my normal self, hopefully. I'm actually going and I think I'm gonna get a pedicure and a manicure. If you guys, my hands are sore and I want some pampering after this week or well, should I say after this last couple months. So, all right, we will see you guys Friday and you have yourselves a great week.